Coming to you from the Carol Blanton Ferris Law Firm Studios. It's the A1 Minute brought to you by Long and Foster. It's Kelly. All right, here we go. Governor Glenn Youngkin wants state employees back in their offices under a new telework policy that will take effect July 5th to guide executive branch agencies out of workplace restrictions imposed during the pandemic. Under the new policy, the clear presumption is that state workers will work in the office. More than 55,000 employees and 65 executive branch agencies will be able to request to work some days remotely under agreements negotiated with their supervisors and adopted by June 30th. And Saturday, the Richmond Kickers reach a milestone as one of the oldest continuously run professional soccer clubs in America. The Kickers will host Ford Madison Football Club at City Stadium. The matchup, also known as the Henny Derby, a unique moniker garnered from two of the country's few black-led, black-created supporter clubs. From fans from the Kickers River City 93 and Madison's Featherstone Flamingos collaborated a couple of years back to celebrate black supporter culture in America by betting a bottle of Hennessy on the game's outcome. And this weekend, Top 5 kicks off with Friday Cheers with experimental pop band Japanese Breakfast. Also, Maymont kicks off his summer concert series with Full Moon Fever and Three Sheets to the Wind. Lastly, we want to recognize Tom Lapis, owner and publisher of the Henrico Citizen, for his story about Henrico's car tax that was featured yesterday. Make sure you stay tuned for more on Tom and what he's doing in the community on an upcoming episode at 8 at 4. Speaking of, bookmark richmond.com backslash VVN to check out all the things on Virginia Video Network. And make sure you follow us and get interactive on Instagram and Twitter at RTD News and Virginia Video Network. I'll talk to you on Monday for another edition of A1 Minute, brought to you by Long and Foster Real Estate.